Captain Obvious. <laughs> Clap, <Purple>. please. <laughs> <laughs> Now talk like an Egyptian. <laughs> talk like an Egyptian. Oh, you have to, cannot move your shoulders to do that. Right, there you go. Um, all right. Uh, <laughs> multiple control of verbal behavior. This is really the thing that Jack Michael and a whole bunch of his colleagues say that really is what gives Skinner's verbal behavior its, oomph, its punch, right? Um, this is where the argument is between functional contextualism and, and radical behaviorists. And anyway, so that's a whole other issue that we can get into at another time. And I'm sure all of you FC people will get up mad at the RB people and, and vice versa. And you'll hammer it out in the comments down below. But just remember, as you're hammering out this discussion the comments that your behavior is under multiple control, <laughs> right? So you have convergent control, which is multiple um, things in the environment, stimuli, whatever, controlling the particular response that you're making. So a single response and divergent control. That was right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, we have cheat sheets down here. Um, so um, multiple things um, controlling one response and then divergent control. Hold on. Divergent control is when a single antecedent event or motivating operation or whatever um, affects multiple things. Right? Multiple verbal responses. So it's just saying, really, across the board, that verbal behavior is extremely complex and that there are lots of things that control our responses. Some responses are controlled by multiple things and some things control multiple responses. That's all there is to it.